Namaste, good morning, welcome to my channel. I'm going to take you through this morning yin yoga sequence. So we are going to be in each pose for about two and a half minutes. No props needed. This is great for all experience levels. Begin lying down in reclined butterfly pose. So you can bring the soles of your feet together to touch. Let your knees flop open. And maybe you keep your arms by your sides or you could stretch your arms up overhead to invite a bit of an opening through your chest and into your shoulders. So as you hold this first pose, breathe in and out through your nose. Try to relax fully. No tension here in your jaw and your facial muscles. And this is a wonderful practice to set your intention for the day ahead. So you might start to ask yourself what it is that you'd like to focus on today. What is most important to you right now? Choosing one word that captures this intention. And let's lift our knees back up and it might feel good just to drop your knees side to side in a little windshield wiper motion. We'll come into our reclined pigeon pose, a variation of swan. Cross your right ankle over the top of your left knee and you can pull your left thigh in towards your belly. Try to keep head and shoulders relaxed to your mat so you're not curling and lifting up only using a little bit of arm strength here to pull yourself in.
You can release the hold of your leg. Wrap your right thigh a little bit more over the top of your left thigh. And you can move your hips a little bit over to the right as you drop both knees over to the left, coming into a laying spinal twist. You can open up your arms, taking a little cactus shape with your upper body, and maybe gaze over your right shoulder. If this is uncomfortable for your neck, just keep your gaze straight up but we're trying to stack our right hip directly over the left one, creating more space between our right hip and our right shoulder. Holding here. And even though we're compressing through our lower belly with this twist, see if you can still breathe deeply. In and out through your nose with no restriction just relaxing a little bit more with every exhale. And you can float your legs back up through to center, unwrap your thighs, and we'll find our reclined pigeon pose on the other side. So your left ankle can cross over the top of your right knee, and you can reach through with your arms to pull that knee a little bit closer in towards you. Keep your left foot flexed, and fully relax your shoulders and the back of your head on the mat. Checking in here to notice how you're feeling this morning. Noticing any sensations present in your body or what's on your mind. Just breathe here. We're coming into a twist next, so release the hold of your thigh, and you can cross that left leg over the right one a little more. Move your hips over to the left and drop both knees over to your right. Trying to stack your left hip over your right one this time. You can open up your arms, finding that little cactus shape again, and maybe look over your left shoulder. Only if this is comfortable, Once you settle in this pose, you might want to close your eyes so you can focus inwards a little more. So 
So a gentle compression through our belly, twisting from our mid and lower back. And you can ease out of this twist. We're gonna flip over onto our stomachs so we can set ourselves up into our Sphinx pose. So however you'd like to get there, you can just roll over and extend your legs back behind you. Feet are about hip width distance apart or so. Coming up onto your forearms, sliding them out in front of you, palms flat to the floor. Think of rolling your shoulders back, sliding your shoulder blades down your back and keeping your chin roughly parallel to the ground. You might need to push your pubic bone into the floor a little bit to flatten out your lower back. We're mainly focusing on our mid and upper back with this back bend. There should be no tension or pain near your tailbone. If that's the case, you might just need to walk your hands a little bit further out and think of pulling and reaching your heart further away from your toes. Feeling your rib cage expand front to back and side to side with the rhythm of your breath. Let's press back into a wide like a child's pose. Take your time, push your hands into the floor to lift your hips up. And you can bring your big toes together to touch, widen your knees as much as is comfortable to you. Press your hips back towards your heels and fold on down. So we're really trying to stretch and lift out of our lower backs, but also keep pressing your shoulders away from your ears. Give your neck lots of space here. Relax your arms. And even though the emphasis of this pose is on pressing our hips towards our heels, also think of melting your chest towards the mat, really softening the space between your shoulder blades.
And when you're ready, you can lift yourself up. We'll come to take a seat, sitting cross-legged, roll your shoulders down. And we'll just take a few neck circles here. You can drop one ear to the shoulder, making little half circles. Just a few times side to side, getting rid of any lingering tension here. And lifting your head back to center, let's bring our palms together at the heart. We'll take a cleansing breath in through the nose, exhale out the mouth. <sighs> Letting it go. Bowing forward, thank you so very much for doing this morning yin practice with me. I hope you have your intention for the day, that you enjoyed this practice, and that you'll be on your mat with me again very soon.